Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to a week uh, full of card videos as I am guest designing for Penny Black. I'll be sharing one video each day from Monday to Friday, so let's get started. The cling stamp that I'm using today is by Penny Black and it's called Winter Song. It's a beautiful um, stamp and I'm uh, stamping it on uh, one of my pattern papers, which is actually vanilla. Instead of uh, stamping my image with uh, black ink, I went ahead and used uh, grey just because uh, I didn't want to have uh, too vibrant colors and I wanted to keep my project uh, soft. So once uh, my image is there, I'm uh, stamping again only the part with the bird on uh, one of my uh, solid red patterned papers. I'll uh, go ahead and use my scissors to cut out that uh, red bird and I'm going to stick it with adhesive on top of my main uh, stamped image. Now I'm keeping this image uncolored and uh, that's on purpose because I want to keep uh, that bird uh, the focal point. However, I'll be using my white gel pen to add uh, white details on my card. You can't really see the difference now, but uh, it really makes a difference in uh, when you see the card first hand. Uh, so I'm adding uh, the snow here and there and just because my main uh, base is vanilla, it does make a difference. Now from my pattern paper, I'm uh, going to use this uh, red striped paper and I'm uh, going to use my rectangle dies to cut a frame. This is going to help me to create a shaker card. So I'm uh, passing through my cattle bag and now I have my frame which I'm uh, going to stick on top of my transparency. Now I have a transparency cut out in uh, the same um, size as my rectangle so I'm using adhesive all around the back of my rectangle and now I can uh, stick uh, those together. I'll be using a uh, foam tape at the back to uh, create a raised uh, frame and uh, to do so I'll be using uh, uh, twice the foam adhesive just because mine is very thin. Now it seems that uh, Shaker cards are on trend lately, so I just had to make one myself. I'm uh, highly inspired by Nicole McGuirk. She's a friend of mine and she makes amazing cards. So uh, now I have to go all around the frame, double up on a foam adhesive. And uh, once that's done, I can uh, go ahead and choose my sequins. While I'm doing that, just to let you know that uh, all the supplies are listed just below the video, as well as on the Penny Plug blog where I'm just designing today. Before sticking the frame on top of my image, I used my white gel pen to add just a bit more white details on my image. So I'm mainly concentrating on the part that, uh, of the image that is going to be showing through the window. And I'm adding a bit of snow on top of the branches, as well as added uh, some uh, white details on the tree trunks. For the sequins, I've uh, decided to use uh, those uh, little ones that are actually off-white, uh, uh, more like vanilla and uh, they change color as uh, the light hit them. Just because I wanted to have a softer look and my background is also vanilla, so I decided not to use those crystal clear ones or the ones that are totally bright and uh, white. My window now is ready, so I can use my scissors to cut out the excess. And uh, once that's done, I can uh, go ahead and create my card base. For my card base, I'm using uh, cardstock that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. That's a standard card. And I'm covering the front of my card with uh, this pattern paper. It's uh, dark and uh, quite busy, but this is going to be only on uh, the background. I, it turned out that it was slightly bigger than my card base, so I had to use my scissors there and cut out the excess. And now I'm using uh, tape adhesive at the back of my window and just make sure that I'm uh, sticking it uh, correctly on my card. I have used uh, one of my older dies from uh, Penny Black to create this banner. That was the Pocketful die set. And uh, now I'm using this stamp set, which is uh, called um, Joy Field, and uh, I've used the Happy Holidays sentiment that uh, perfectly fits my banner. 
To stick my banner on top of my card, I used some foam adhesive at the back and my card is ready. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget that I'll be guest designing the whole week over at the Penny Black blog, so join me tomorrow for another Christmas card. Thank you all for watching.